All right, in this video, we're going to talk about a problem um, that we're going to use to help visualize the slope of a secant line uh, to using that to appro approximate the slope of a tangent line. And so what you're going to see here is we have a graph that's given to you. And I have some sliders. Now I have a red dot that I can click on and move back and forth. But I can do the exact same thing by clicking on the red slider. So that way, sometimes it's easier to move the slider back and forth. Similarly, I have a blue dot that uh, is represented by the blue slider. Now you'll notice as I do the red dot, the blue dot moves with it. It's keeping a constant a constant distance in the x value between the red and the blue. And you can see up here it's h equaling 2. They're always two apart. Because if you look at the formula, the x value is a, and in the blue it's a plus h. So it's just always the same h value. Now if I were to click on the blue dot, the red dot stays still. So this blue dot's allowing me to move either to the left, move to the right. I can I can come from either side, and I can use this to um, visualize. Let me scoot this up, make it a little nicer. I can visualize the secant line as I slide these closer together. We can watch it becoming a tangent line. And now, how are we going to calculate the slope? Well, you'll notice that slope is being calculated for you. So right now, the red line, my slope of this line, is 0.7. And as I slide these closer together, we can see it getting less steep, and we can see our slope getting more shallow, approaching the value of 0. Um, well, maybe not 0, but getting closer to 0. So right now we're at 0 0.4 and 0 0.42, you know, and so on and so forth, 0 point, whatever. So what this problem is asking us to do, though, is to find the slope of the tangent line at x equals 0.5. So how we're going to do this is the red dot kind of is our, our placement. It's the point that we're staying focused around. So I'm going to move that to 0.5. There we go. And now, as I slide in here, I'll be able to try to figure out what I think the tangent line is. Now, obviously, if I try to put the blue dot and the red dot on top of each other, my slope is undefined because it's calculating slope. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It's the same point, so it can't be calculated. So I'm going to have to spread these back out again. Okay, and I'm going to say, okay, I have to look and watch the slope as I approach from one side. As I approach, what, what what slope do we feel like we're approaching? And then same thing from the other side. As I come in from the left, what slope do I feel like we're approaching? And the nice thing is um, that this is uh, has a bit of margin of error. It's not looking for the exact value. It's looking for something uh, close. So as long as you're you're getting close here and you're saying, okay, my blue is at 0.38. Now it's at 0.42, now it's at 0.46. So and I kind of keep note of what are these values approaching. It looks to me it's like about 0 0.16, so on and so forth. I do the same thing from the other side, and I see what we're approaching. All right, so I hope this I hope this problem really helps put a visual, a little bit of kinesthetic touch and feel to the concept being discussed in this section.